Good evening everybody or good day everybody or good morning everybody whatever time zone you may be in. My name's Alan and we have a special guest today which is a show, show so it's not really a special guest so let's call him out. Grandpa Joe where are you Grandpa Joe? Hi Alan how are you? Oh, it's Grandpa Joe. Yeah, Alan, how are you today? My name is Grandpa Joe. I know that, Grandpa Joe. I just told him. I don't have to say it. <laughs> hey, Alan, you got a nice haircut. You look like you were in the military or something. Well, actually, I was. Really? Really? Yes, Grandpa Joe. I was in the United States Navy. And then I joined the Air Force after I got out of the Navy. Well, the Air National Guard, which was still the Air Force, but it's okay. Well, did you have fun? Yes, I had a lot of fun in the Navy. And what do you do now? I help veterans like myself. I work at a VA hospital. Wow, that is awesome. Yes, it is awesome because I get to help people that or like me that need help and then they go to see their doctor and they go to get better. Wow, that is so cool. Wow, well, you know what? Grandpa Joe, I heard that you have some special people that you want to say hello to. Yes, I got a friend. His name's Andy. Well, Andrew, he's from Malaysia. I got another friend. His name's Andy. He's from the Philippines. Really? Yeah. And another guy, his name's Lemuel. Another guy, his name's Alexandra. And another guy, his name's, uh, 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 Le Joel. And then Lemuel. Really? And Scott. Billy. Wow, he knows a lot of people. Do you know anybody else? Do you know J Alan? Actually, I do, and I just want to say hello to my friends that are watching out there. Colleen, Jasmine, Kit Kat, um, Richard, Bill, I really appreciate you guys watching. It's very nice of you guys to join, and I just want to thank you for um, saying hello to me, and I just wanted to mention you guys on the show. It's just so exciting to have people that are watching this, and I just want to say hello to Lisa, I want to say hello to my friends, um, excuse me, Jake, and he's a very good friend of mine too. Well, Alan, you know some people, don't you? Yes, I do, Grandpa Joe. So what's the story about today? It's about Daniel and the lion's den and how he was saved from the lions. Really? That's interesting. I'm really eager to find out, aren't you guys? Wow. It sounds like you're gonna be enjoying this, Grandpa Joe. Yeah, I'm excited because I've been studying about this for the longest time, and now I want to tell the story. Okay. Grandpa Joe, go ahead and tell that story. In the Bible, there was a king, his name was Darius. His kingdom was so big, he hired 120 best people to help him rule his kingdom. 120 people? Mm -hmm. Wow, that's a lot of people, don't you guys think? Wow. Then he had to pick up three presidents and princes to help him rule over them. What? Wow, that's huge. Mm -hmm. Daniel was one of the first to be able to able to rule over these people. But Daniel wasn't like was liked by the king so much that he wanted him to rule over the entire kingdom. Wow, that's really interesting. Yeah, it was. But you know what? There was really bad things happening. Well, what was it? There was three rulers. The 
they were very bad. And they wanted to do something to Daniel. And it wasn't very nice. Really? Why? Well, Daniel liked to pray all the time to God. Which I like to pray too. And so do you do, Alan, right? Yes, I do. I love to pray because that's how I communicate to God all the time. Well, Daniel did it three times a day, all the time. And there's one day that they, they've seen Daniel praying and they said, you know what? I want to get rid of Daniel because Daniel, he's always in the way. That's what the other three guys said. It wasn't very nice of them, was it, Alan? No, it wasn't. Daniel was so true to the king that it made them even more mad. Alan, I said, what? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Wow, that's not nice. If you're trying to be nice to someone, you want to be happy for them. Mm -hmm. I know, it's just something about that. So, can you continue telling? Mm -hmm. Since Daniel was a God-fearing man, like I said, he prayed every day to the Lord. He even prayed for other people too. And then, one day, whenever the enemies were walking around, they said they want to do something to get rid of them. And what they did, they made this law that they wanted the king to sign, and they knew he would sign it. What was the law? It was the law that no one should pray to anyone except over King Darius. And we knew, he knew, that bad people knew that he would sign it. So, what happened? Well, these guys, they made the decree, and then the king signed it, not knowing what he was signing, because he trusted those people that made the, de the decree. And Daniel didn't know nothing about it. Really? Mm -hmm. Well, what else happened? Well, they seen Daniel praying whenever, whenever King Darius signed the decree, and then they captured Daniel. Really? What happened? Well, since Daniel, he was praying and not to King Darius, he was sentenced to be thrown in the lion's den. What? The lion's den, that doesn't sound like fun, does it? Well, what happened? Well, since King Darius was a man of his word, he had to sentence Daniel, his best friend, to the lion's den. Really? That's not good. What else happened? Well, King Darius, he sent us to the lion's den and threw him in the lion's pit. Well, what happened then? Well, since Daniel prayed to God, God had sent an angel down to shut the lion's mouth. Really? <laughs> wow, can you imagine being in this cage full of lions and then an angel was sent down to close the mouths of the lions? That is something. That's like sleeping with big kitty cats, huh? Mm -hmm. But they're too big. Yeah, I know. Concerned. He was so upset about what he did, throwing Daniel in the lion's den, but he didn't know what God's plan was. Well, what was God's plan? Well, God's plan was not to have Daniel eaten, like I said. Oh, you're right. You're right. Well, what happened? Next, Alan? No, you're 
tell them the story, not me. Well, King Darius said, Daniel! Daniel! Really? He said it like that. Mm -hmm. Daniel! And then what happened? Then Daniel said, I'm here, King Darius! I'm okay! I'm okay! The king was so happy that he was okay. Really? Because mm -hmm. they were best friends. Wow, that's good to know. It's good to have friends like that, right? Mm -hmm. Well, what happened to the other guys that, that lied to the king? That set up Daniel to throw him in the lion's den? Well, since they did wrong, you know what the king did? I was like, well, what, what, what did he do? I'm really interested. The king threw them in the lion's den, and then the lions weren't too friendly to them, little to say. Wow, that's very interesting. So, you have to be careful about making foolishness, don't you? Because it will literally bite you. It would literally bite me. Okay. You don't get it, huh? I ain't you. <laughs> I'm teasing you, Grandpa, but that was a really good story about oh, Grandpa Joe. Thank you for sharing that. I'm so happy that you told us about Daniel and the lion's den. That was very interesting. Didn't you guys think so? Yeah, I mean, that was just something. So, what happened afterwards? What happened to Daniel? Well, since Daniel was out of the lion's den, and they didn't have them other people that was really mean to him, the king, he said, you know what? He made a decree that everyone should worship Daniel's God. And so did King Darius, too. Wow, that is so nice. Yeah, and then King, the king restored Daniel's power to leadership. Wow. That was very nice of the king. Don't you guys think so? Grandpa Joe, like I said, I want to say thank you for sharing that. I really appreciate it. And you know what? You have a good day and a blessed day. And always stop and pray. Okay? Good day. Stop and pray for everyone today. Oh, by the way. We need to pray for some people, too. We got to pray for a country that is really needing some help. It's China. We really need to pray for them. Yes, we need to pray for them. It, and, it, and not only for China, we need to pray for the other people that are out there. We need to pray for each other. We need to pray for our neighbors. We need to pray for the people that don't like us, too, because God loves every one of us. And just think... Someone pray for you so that you may be where you're at today. Even though you may not like the person, even though you may not care for what the people do, but you know what? You should always pray for everyone. 